Welcome class. My name is Mrs. Kelly, Professor Kelly, Michelle Kelly, and I will be your instructor for Introduction to Pharmacology. And as I promised, I would give you guys a video, so I wanted to get this set up and sent out to you today, so you guys are aware of your expectations for this class. I'm excited to have you, but I want to warn you, this class is a lot of work. Doing this course in eight weeks, you are going to have to stay on top of your assignments every single day. We will be covering two modules per week. So that being said, most assignments will be due on Thursdays for one module, and then the next module will be Sundays. So we will be covering approximately anywhere between four to six chapters a week in the textbook. So please be aware that this course is a lot of work. Um, you have multiple assignments due each week, so you really need to stay on top of your work. And one way that you can do that is by looking at the calendar um, in your um, course. So let me leave student view here and see, here we go. So here is your calendar. You can find your calendar over on, um, I don't know if you guys can see it, there we go. Your calendar is going to be found right here in this toolbox here. So you're going to click on your calendar and you can see what is due each week. So look at all these assignments that you guys have due on Thursday. So a couple of them are very simple and they're not going to take a lot of work, but when you see a written assignment, it's going to take you some time. These are quizzes that are done through the, um, the program called MindTap, which is through the resource, and I'm going to show you guys how to get that as well. But if you look here, pretty much everything is Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. So please pay attention to those assignments. Okay, so your calendar is very helpful for you to stay on top of your work. If you click on your, on your assignment, and you click here, it'll take you directly to your assignment. So that being said, it'll click here and you can go into your assignment. So it makes it really easy. Um, one thing I'll say since it's through MindTap, usually the assignments will cross off on your calendar when you've done them. Like if you've completed it, it'll cross it off. But when you're doing it through the, org the company or the um, module MindTap, it won't cross it off. So if you don't see it's crossed off, it doesn't mean it didn't go. It was a, it's probably been done, but it's just it doesn't cross off. It's been mind tap. Okay, so let's go into this, and I'm going to go to the home page so we can start there. So here's your home page. Here's all my information. I will say on Thursday evenings I will do a Teams um, online um, on Teams, which you can get through your um, Office 365. Um, it'll be online. I'll just open up. It's for 30 minutes. That way if you have any questions or need any clarification on anything, I'll do it every Thursday evening. Um, I also have office hours on campus Monday through Wednesday from um, 12 to 2, so you're welcome to come and meet me in person if you'd like. Um, the other thing is make sure you pay attention to your announcements. I will probably send an announcement at least once a week, kind of letting you know what is coming up for the week. Um, so pay attention to your announcements. Here I have a welcome announcement, so please read that and read everything closely and in detail because I do help you a lot when you read those. If you want to follow your um, modules, in here is where you're going to find all your different information. And to purchase your MindTap resource, you're going to click here. So I want you to go here. And it won't work for me because I'm in student view you're going to click on here and you're going to go ahead and purchase your MindTap. Um, and this is your resource that you need for the textbook and it'll help you set it up through this way. Now if you have financial aid and you need to use financial aid, you do need to go through the bookstore. And I have communicated with the bookstore. There's some issues with them getting it set up online, so you might actually have to go to the bookstore and get the MindTap resource. But to find that information, you can find it in the syllabus. So if you want to know that um, ISBN number and take that to the bookstore, you can take it through, take your syllabus in with you. Um, if you're having trouble with Concourse Syllabus, you can also find it on Modules, and I posted the syllabus in here. 
So the syllabus for this one, you can see it here. And then I went ahead and posted it here. So you can bring this in and this is the information that you can give the bookstore, um, the ISBN numbers right here. Okay, so that's how you can get your resources. You need to get your resources today or tomorrow. Since you have assignments due on Thursday, you need to get that resource done now. Okay. Um, as far as your first week, module one, it'll tell you in each module what dates we're working in. So this is the 16th through the 19th. Um, so you have a little introduction and a quiz, real quick, a syllabus quiz. It's nothing difficult. I just need to confirm that you reviewed the syllabus and you understand the expectations. And then each week, the chapter quizzes, they're short, they're only 15 points. Um, you have a couple attempts on them, and they're done through MindTap. Um, and then these apply it and put it all together are usually a video, which kind of reviews some information about that particular chapter, and you get to kind of practice it and see it. Um, and then there will be a couple questions associated with that. And then your written assignments, um, these are a little more work. Um, than your mind tap assignments. These are separate. So here is a video and an image explaining over-the-counter medication labels. Medication labels can be very confusing and it's important to be able to read them correctly. Please watch a video provided to better understand the drug fact label and then complete the required assignment and submit it. Please complete the assignment on a document and then upload the document to this assignment. So here is a YouTube video that explains um, over-the-counter medications and how to read the label. And here is an image of an over-the-counter medication. And then um, this is your expectation for the assignment. Either obtain an over-the-counter medication from your home or local drugstore and find the following information. So you're gonna put that um, image up here and you wanna find what each one of these are and you're gonna number them one through eight, put that information. Your document should include Include eight pieces of information from the medication chosen from the drugstore at home. Write a 100 word summary of what the medication is, what it, its indication for use is, the acceptable age, rate, age range for using the medication, and what the classification of this medication is. So you might have to use a website called drugs.com or rxlist.com. You might have to just do some research on that medication. Make sure there are no grammatical errors within the summary and it is organized and formatted in a Roman, Times Roman 10 font. Um, include references at the bottom. So if you do any research, make sure you cite those references at the bottom in APA format. These are the websites, drugs.com and rxlist.com are helpful websites. So you might want to cite those and then you can review the rubric. Okay, those are your written, that's a written assignment. So just your first one, you got to take a little bit of time to make sure you review it and you don't want to lose points on these. Um, they do count for quite a bit and they're not hard, it's just time consuming. So it's, I always say in an online course, you get out of it what you put into it. So if you're just going through the motions and taking the quizzes multiple times or looking at someone else and doing it with a friend and really not learning from it, you're not going to gain much from this class. But if you're taking the time to do the written assignments and really bring the knowledge in and think about the information, you will totally, you will learn so much from this class. So um, make sure you're making that effort. Um, as far as your grades, I will try super hard to get your grades to you by 10 days. I have 25 students in this class. Um, there's a lot of grading in eight weeks. I will do my best because I'm teaching quite a few other classes as well. I will do my best, but um, I do say in my syllabus, you allow me 10 to 14 days um, to get grades in. And um, following that, if you look at a grade and you have you dispute it or you want to contest a, a grade, you have seven days from the time the grade is posted to contest it. And to contest it, you need to email me and ask questions. Don't just put a submission comment in it because I don't always see those. You have to email me directly saying I need explanation on this grade. Here is where you find your grades. You can click on grades and you will see anything you submit. You'll get a score here and then there will be a comment over comment button over here. 
if there's something that this, if I comment on it, you'll also be able to see a rubric. Um, so let me go in to do like a written assignment. Um, let me submit an assignment here. I'm going to just add any file just so I can put something in here so you guys can see it. Um, I'll just put this in here, submit, and that shows that it's been submitted. That's how you submit assignments. And then I am going to grade it and I'll show you what happens when I do that. Okay, so I went ahead and graded it, graded the assignment, and you see here there's grade, there's a one here. That means your instructor did something and looked at something. So you can click on grades. And when you click on grades, it's going to look and see, oh, what did I do? So you can see here, this is the one. This will give you your um, points or your how much you've made on it. This little blue dot indicates that I put a comment on there. I'm going to show you how you see all the comments. This is your rubric in that I submitted a comment. So to see these, you just click on them. And you can see here, this is what I scored it as. So the rubric, and sometimes I'll put comments on here, like in this section, like if you missed references and I explain why, it'll say it in here. So here I wrote, you did a great job on your summary. Okay, so that's your rubric. If I put any comments on it, you can click on it. I appreciate the work on this assignment. And then, so see the blue dots go away once you view them. So if I click on this one, you actually, to see the comments here, you gotta click on the assignment, and then you say view feedback. And here is the assignment I submitted, and I put a comment out here. So um, if you have any of those things under grades, this is how you review your feedback. And if you're not looking at your feedback online, you're really not learning because you're not knowing how to improve, particularly on written assignments or discussions because it's the only way I can communicate with you since I don't see you guys in class every day. So please pay attention to the comments that I submit because I will give you feedback to make improvements on how you can get better um, in the class. So um, that is pretty much the course. Um, remember, each week you have module one, which is the first half of the week, and module two, which is the second half of the week and then the next week we'll start over. I have these locked. They will open up the Friday before the week starts and it'll open up the next two modules. So it'll be locked till the 20th, you see this, um, and then it'll open so you can complete the next. You can notice the next following week, it's only two weeks or two chapters and two chapters. So it'll be four chapters. Your first week is a lot because the chapters are shorter and not as difficult. So I put a little bit more in there um, but if you don't get your mind tap, send gauge set up right away, that can be a challenge. Um, I can show you how to do it when we go to a website. So let me go to um, sendgage.com and you can go to student and you want to do online learning platforms or you can do Cengage Unlimited, whichever one you want to do. Cengage Unlimited sometimes is nice if you have more than one um, Cengage course, um, and you want to do, um, you don't want to do the e-textbook because that's just the textbook. You want to do the mind tap, um, which it's not in here, so we don't want to do the unlimited. We want to go to online learning platforms, and you are going to find my platform, and you want to do mind tap, and you are going to do it through Canvas. And are your course materials included in your tuition? No. And this is going to tell you how to register for MindTap in Canvas. So that is how you're going to go ahead and purchase your um, resources. Now, if you have financial aid, again, you're going to have to go through the bookstore, which is here, and you're going to have to um, go to the bookstore. You're going to sign in, and you want to go to the technical campus, Allen. And I do not know that the books is available yet. And if it's not, you're going to have to contact them and find out why. Um, I have emailed them and they haven't responded yet. So I'll keep following up with them. But you do want to put the course number. So your department is Health Science, Health Professions, and the course number is 1310, and we're Section 503. You may look and see if it's in 501, and you might be able to retrieve it that way. 
it says course material still pending as well. Um, so it might be easier to get it through if you come into the bookstore and get it done that way. Um, but I will follow up with the bookstore and see if I can get that set up for you. Um, and that's all I have for you guys. So I do know this video is a little long, but I think it will help you. Um, please email me on my homepage. I have um, my contact information. If you have any questions, you can find all the information here. Um, if you go to your 365, you should be able to find your Teams app. So you'd log in there and find your Teams app if you want to jump in my office hours. But that's all I have for you. So um, I hope you guys have a good week. I know it's a busy week. Um, and I know this is going to be a lot of work. So try and stick with it. And I know you can do it. But um, keep me posted if you have any questions. Please read the syllabus. I do not... One thing I will say is I do not take late grades. Um, I will leave an assignment open for 48 hours, and if it's not submitted within the after the 48 hour due date, it's a zero. I don't take anything after that. So you have two day grace period and that is it. Um, and that's all I have. Have a good night.